Uh, thank you for joining me today. I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com. My project tutorial today is this gorgeous little baby bear gift box. And in my gift box I've put some chocolates. And I think it's rather sweet. I've used the Blooms and Bliss DSP and I've stood my baby bear on the top of my box. I think he looks rather cute. So let's get on with that today and make it. So to start with we need to make our baby bear gift box we need some pool party card stock measuring seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. For our belly band that goes around the outside we need a piece of island indigo which measures nine and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. And then I've got the Blooms and Bliss designer series paper. We've got one cut at two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and two cut at two and five eighths by one and three eighths. All measurements will be on my blog if you haven't written it down. This is the stand for Baby Bear that measures four and three quarters by one inch. And these little pieces that I've cut out using this uh, note tag punch. I'll show you how to cut those out a bit later on, but I've already prepped mine up here, but I will show you how I made those later on. So let's get started. We also need to make this our stamp set called Baby Bear, and this is a three-stage stamp stamping, one on top of the other. I'll show you how I made that as well. And we need four ink colours, and our ink colours today are Pool Party, Island Indigo, Crumb Cake and Soft Suede. And we're going to start by scoring our piece of card that measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And we're going to score it at one inch and two and a half inches all the way round the four sides. An inch and two and a half inches. That's the scoring done. And while we've got the scoring board out, while we're doing our scoring, I'm going to score the belly band, but I'm going to score the belly band on my stamping trimmer because my stamping trimmer has uh, sixteenths measurements, six, you know, sixteenths of an inch measurements, and we're going to score this at two and thirteen sixteenths. Get the blade out of the way before I start chopping. So two and thirteen sixteenths, four and three eighths, seven and thirteen sixteenths. I need to take open that up. Seven and three sixteenths, four and three. And eight and three quarters. So, that's that. so back to our box. We now need to fold and burnish all our score lines. And it's a very hot day here today, so. I'm hoping that I can do this without feeling too hot. I think this must be one of the hottest days of the year. So we are going to cut this, and this is uh, reinforced at the sides to make it nice and strong. So we cut down our corners. And what we need to do is cut out... Cut 
out the, that outer edge on all four corners. And then you go round the outside edges. So on these outer edges we want to just trim a little piece off so that the box folds in nice and um, neat. to do the same on these little corner flaps as well just take a little wedge out Now we're ready to stick our box together, but before we stick our box together, we need to make our, our little hole for our ribbon pull. Now you don't have to do a little ribbon pull, but I've put one on so that you can either pull the box out that way, or you just push it forward, whichever you prefer. You don't have to put the ribbon pull on, it's entirely up to you, but I have done it mine with the ribbon pull. So on one of these sides, you go in with your with your uh, this is a one eighth of an inch punch, and you just push your punch in as far as it will go and punch a little hole like that. And then I've got the the one eighth of an inch silver ribbon here and I'm just going to cut a length off and then I'm going to double that over because I like double thickness makes it nice and strong when you're pulling it and then I'll get my pokey tool and just poke that through the hole. Like that. Pull that out and make that neat. then we want to secure that down. You can secure this down with sellotape or with some fuse. I'm going to put some fuse on here today. to put some fuse or some liquid glue on these outer flaps. Make sure you put plenty on. A bit of 
bubble with my flask to use. Probably the heat affecting it. Then you just start to put your box together. And I'm going to use some liquid glue now to put my, to put those flaps down because I think it's an easier glue to use when you just want to do one at a time. So let's go for the whole block. So put some glue all the way around those outer edges. your bone folder just go round and make sure that they're nicely nicely stuck down I think that's nicely stuck down and that's made a nice little draw. So now on to our belly band and we just burnish those score lines that we made. So that goes round the outside edge of our box like that. So we need to put our DSP on here and here. So I don't know, this side I think is pretty side. So I'm just going to get some snail to put my DSP on. And then this little half an inch flap, we put some fast views on that. And wrap that round your box. And secure that down. made. Cute. Now we need to decorate the front of our box and as I explained before I've cut these little things to look like the front of a drawer and I've used this note tag punch to do that and I said I would give you the 
the tip of how to do that. So you start off by just cutting out the whole one. And then you push it back into your punch, the piece that you've cut, like this. And you get it manoeuvred like that. Can you see how I've positioned it so that you've got, let me just hold that for you, you've got two light little two light little circular end pieces there and that is what you punch out, one of those and then the piece that's fallen out you put that back in the punch the, the other way round stick that back in your punch like that and punch that one out and then you have your two and you just have a little slither left for the bin so that's my tip today to get those little drawer fronts so we're going to stick our little drawer front on here but we only need one of them so let's stick that on with some fast fuse i think we'll use for that whoops oh the sticking Right, front of the box, stick that down, like that, and to get my little quirky little knobs for my drawers, I've used these metal ringed pearls, and we need, I think it's the medium size, you've got large ones, medium ones, and small ones. And for my project, I've used the medium. So we want a couple of those out of here. And they come with little sticky backs on them. So you just peel the little backing off and stick those straight onto your drawer. I'm just going to get my little chocolates to put in my drawer. So obviously Ferrero Rocher fit in there nicely, four of them. And then we put our drawer back in. And so now we need to do our cutie little baby bear. So let's make a start on our baby bear. Just move these things out of the way. You will need a, a pad to stamp onto because of the fact that this is a photopolymer stamp set. So you will need a pad and then we'll get our stamp set now I have found that the best way to get this to do this a lot of people have been doing three two uh, one two three you've got numbers on here this is one this is two and that's three I start with three prep him up on our block And the reason I start with three was that I couldn't see properly. When I started with one, I didn't think it was very clear where you stamped over the top of it. But this way, it works perfectly. So we've got soft suede and crumb cake to do baby bear. So 
so prep your baby bear on the block and, and we go straight down and press, hold it down for just a few seconds. And if I can get him off and there we have him, isn't he cute? I love him. So we take off number three and we get number two. So number two, and I go into crumb cake, into the crumb cake ink now, with baby bear number two, and then when you can see his bottom bit there, and you, I found that that was the easiest way to line baby bear up. With that, with these, the bottom of his legs straight down and over the top, and press and hold for just a few seconds. And pull it off. Lovely. And then we need baby bear number one. into the crumb cake again but this time we stamp him off onto a piece of scratch paper which I'm going to get because I don't want to stamp him onto my paper underneath and make a mess of it. So you stamp down and then Stamp over, lining him up again at the bottom, like I said. Press down for a few seconds. And lift off. And that's our cutie little baby bear done. So that's great, isn't it? So that's our baby bear done. So we'll pop him out of the way because now we need to do a little bit more stamping. Let's just move those out of the way. Clean the block up so I can put that out of the way. And so now we need to do Baby Bear's bow. And Baby Bear's bow is also done in two steps. We have number one and number two. So I'll prep him on the block. Mm, stuck together. And I'll just move that ink out of the way. And this is where we use our pool party and island indigo. So in with pool party first, and press down and off, and then we get bow number two, bow number two, and into the island indigo. And then you line him up, I'm sorry if I get my head in here, but you line that up over the top. And then you get a nice quirky looking bow for baby there. Put that away. And now we're going to do our sentiment while we're here. And this sentiment says, love you very much. And I'm putting that into the island indigo ink and I'm just going to stamp that 
down there like that. So that is all our stamping done. Let's move the baby there over there. And move this out of the way. Oh, I just want to do some... And then it's a question of fussy cutting out these pieces. So I just realised I've cut that a bit close, but we'll work with it. And I'm cutting him about like that. You just eyeball it, really. And eyeball that across there. And then chop into the middle and across at an angle and then you will get a nice little shape banner like a banner so into the middle and this end is going to be a little bit shorter because i forgot about leaving a little gap but not to worry we can work with it so we'll get rid of those pieces and I'm going to get rid of this stamping mat because I don't need that anymore. And it doesn't take you long to just fussy cut these little pieces out. Everyone likes a bit of fussy cutting. And I always fussy cut leaving a little just a little white board around the outside edges and then you don't lose any definition of the stamping that you've done. So that's his bow, that's his tag. I'm just going to do some edging with my little finger I'm just going to shade that white in so that it doesn't look quite so stark. That's that. Put that away. And then we can get rid of our scratch paper and our stump. Now I've got to just cut out my baby bear. I just think this stamp set's so great. I just love this stamp set. The moment I saw it in the catalogue, which I saw it in April at convention, and I wanted it then, and I just wanted it straight away, but I had to wait. I had to wait until the beginning of June. N nearly killed me waiting for it, because I just think he's so cute. And put him on cards, boxes, bags, anything you like. And children, children will love him on their gifts. He's just so cute and reminds me of my childhood. I had a bear like this when I was a child and I, I think I loved it so much to bits that it was in tatters in the end. And it had to go in the bin. But that's what we do as children. We? that's lovely that's my baby bear so we've cut out our little pieces let's stick with a bit of with a glue dot his, his um, cute little bow and what I did with the glue dots I folded one over and then I stuck it on the middle there and then we stick that about here. There, so cute. That just leaves our stand for baby bear, which I just realised we need to just do a bit of scoring on that. So let's move that to one side. We just need it to do a bit of scoring. This is the piece that measures four and three quarters by one inch. And we just do a bit of scoring at one and three quarters, three and three quarters, and four and a half. So that's not much scoring. 
and then we'll just fold those over. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue across the bottom there. If I can get this past views, I think this heat is affecting it. So I'm going to do that over here. And then we're going to stick that onto there. So a little stand for baby bear which goes you'll notice it goes off at an angle because what I've done is I've made baby bear I've just got baby bear and just you'll notice I've just curved him up onto the stand so that he sits there quite nicely and we put a bit of glue where is my fast, my snail? A bit of snail just down that middle portion. You don't want to go up too high. So just down the middle portion of our stand. And I sat him up about an eighth of an inch off the bottom. So that when the sentiment goes on the front like that it doesn't hide him up too much so I'm going to put a bit of wet glue on the bottom of here the bottom of our stand and sit him about an inch and a half back on the stand Press that down with your bone folder. Like that. And that just then leaves us to get some dimensionals. And you need to put two dimensionals, one on top of the other. And he then stands up just in front of Baby Bear, like that. I think we need another one, another dimensional. So we'll just put that underneath, like that. So that we've got them like that, at two at the bottom and one at the top. Stick that on like that. And there we have him. He's finished. So that is what we've made today. And that's my tutorial. And I want to just show you a double one that I made too. So you can make a single one. Or you put two boxes together. Two boxes like this together. But you don't decorate them. And then you wrap your DSP... And your DSP for this big one will measure 12 inches by two and a half. And you just wrap that round and glue it underneath. And you can have a two-drawer baby bear. I think that's really cute. Really, really cute. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. And if you would like to buy any of the products, if you'd like to buy any of the products that I have showcased today, they are available to purchase on my new website, Arty Paper Crafters. And if you loved this tutorial, please let me know what you thought. And if you'd like a Stampin' Up! catalogue and you'd be interested in that and you're watching this in YouTube, please click on the down arrow where it will take you over to my website for all the details. And that's all from me today until the next time. So bye-bye.